Today we're going to show you how to align multiple vocals instantly in Cubase Pro 11.0.40 or later using the VST3 ARA version of Vocaline Project 5. Please note that the steps for working in the equivalent versions of Nuendo are very similar. If you're using an older version of Cubase Pro, please refer to the Vocaline Ultra Manual for instructions. This video is to help you get started. More in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. First up, let's listen to what we're working with before we do any processing. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. As you can hear, there are some timing differences between the doubles and the lead vocal, which we can fix in seconds with Vocal on Project 5. Let's start by selecting the vocals that we want to align together. In this case, that's the lead and two doubles. Once our tracks are selected, we click on audio in the top menu, followed by extensions, and then click Vocaline Project 5. Vocaline Project 5 should then appear in the dock under your arrangement. The next step is to transfer our lead and double vocals from Cubase Pro into Vocaline Project 5 to be aligned. In Vocaline, we refer to the lead vocal as the guide and tracks like doubles, backgrounds, and harmonies as the dubs. Select your lead or guide audio in Cubase Pro and press the capture button next to the guide label in Vocaline Project 5. It's also possible to simply drag and drop your guide and dub audio from Cubase Pro directly onto Vocaline. You can now see the guide waveform has been successfully loaded into Vocaline Project 5 as seen here in blue. If you're working with multiple dubs, we recommend you select a suitable preset in Vocaline Project 5 before capturing, as once your dubs have been captured, further processing changes are applied to each dub individually. Now we select the doubles in Cubase Pro and then click the capture button next to the dub label in Vocaline Project 5. You can now see the dub waveforms have been successfully loaded into Vocaline Project 5 and are shown here in orange. Once your guide and dubs have been captured, newly aligned audio outputs are automatically created and returned to Cubase Pro. The new outputs are shown here in yellow. You can also see the blue outline of the guide has been placed over the top of the outputs so you can quickly compare how similar the signals are. As we said previously, once you capture your dubs, any changes you make to the Vocaline Project 5 plugin will only be applied to the selected dub. To change the settings for an individual dub, just select the dub audio in Cubase Pro and then adjust the settings in Vocaline. You can always check the dub you're processing by referring to this label here. As we're using the ARA2 version of Vocaline, the audio in Cubase Pro is automatically updated. So to listen to the results, we just need to press play. But first, let's listen to how our vocals sounded before. Giving you the green light, sending out an SOS to you, baby. Can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. And then after being processed by Vocaline Project 5. Giving you the green light. Sending out an SOS to you. Baby, can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna hit you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. Great, that's sounding much better. So once you're happy with the results, simply render your audio in Cubase Pro by selecting Render in Place, Bounce Selection, so your newly created files are saved with your project. Now all that's left is to listen to our newly aligned vocals in context. Giving you the green light. Sending out an SOS to you, baby. Can you see me? Running, running now. Gonna eat you like a wrecking ball. Pick you off the ground whenever you fall out to. You'll never see me coming. We hope that's been helpful, and please visit our website for more tutorials.